Hi and welcome back. Now in this chapter, I want to go through application insights. So what are we going to learn? So what is application insights and how do we work with it? So application insights is an application performance management service that can be used for monitoring your live web applications. Now it helps to detect any sort of performance anomalies in your web applications. It can also help to diagnose issues in your applications as well. Now it works on a variety of platforms that includes .NET, Node.js, Java and Python. Now you can go ahead and collect information from application insights such as so your request rates, your response times and your failure rates within your web application. You can also go ahead and see if any exceptions are occurring in your application. You can also go ahead and see page views and load performance has reported from user's browser. And you can also go ahead and view rates, response times and failure rates for your Ajax calls as well. So let me go ahead and show you an introduction on how you can actually go ahead and work with application insights. Now just to showcase application insights. So over here I have Visual Studio 2019. It is the community edition. So if you want, you can go ahead and download Visual Studio 2019. I said you can go ahead and download the community edition. This is free of cost. Now over here, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new project. So I'm going to go ahead and just search for ASP.NET. So I'll just choose an ASP.NET web application. Over here, let me go ahead and just give a name. I'll leave the framework as it is and hit on create. So I just want to go ahead and create a simple application. I'll choose MVC as a template and let me go ahead and hit on create. So it's creating a simple project in Visual Studio. Now, once we have the project in place, so if you right click on the project, you have this option of configure application insights. So let me go ahead and hit on it. So over here, you have two options. So you can go ahead and ensure to install the application insights SDK locally, or you could also go ahead and use Azure application insights as well. So let's go ahead and choose Azure application insights and hit on next. Now over here, I need to go ahead and sign in onto my Azure account. So let me go ahead and sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my Azure admin account. Now, if you don't have Azure application insights in place, you can go ahead and create a new application insights component. So over here, you can go ahead and choose your subscription and you can also go ahead and choose a resource group and the location. You can go ahead and hit on create. So now it's going ahead and creating the application insights component in Azure itself. Now, once it has gone ahead and created the component, I can go ahead and choose it and we can go ahead on to next. So over here, it's just going to go ahead and use something known as an instrumentation key. This is part of application insights. I'll go on to next. So over here, it's just going to go ahead and show you the summary of changes. I'll go ahead and hit on finish. So now it's going ahead and configuring your project with application insights. Now, once the configuration is complete, I can go ahead and hit on close. Now you can go ahead and run the solution locally. So I'll say yes, I'll say yes, it's just to install the certificate. So now it's running the solution locally. Over here you can see that you also have an instance of application insights which is also running locally as well. So this is the local SDK. You can go on to the different parts of the application. Now I can go ahead and choose application insights over here and you'll be able to see all of the telemetry data. So each of the requests are being recorded over here. For each of the requests, you can go ahead and see the response time and you can see the response code as well. Now, if you go back onto Azure, you will see that there is a resource known as VizLab app that's part of application insights. So remember this has been created by Visual Studio. 
Now, if you go ahead and open up application insights, there are a lot of aspects that are available to troubleshoot your application or view the performance metrics of your application. If you go on to live metrics, here you can see what is the actual information, the live metrics about your application itself. So if you go ahead and again, exercise the different parts of your application, you will actually see the change in the incoming requests over here. So you are actually seeing live metrics for your application. If you go on to the performance section over here, all of the performance data, which is being recorded locally is also being recorded over here. So for example, you can see the amount of times the index page was being called, the amount of times the contact page was being called and what is the average duration. So over here, it's not showing me all of the count. It does take just some time for the data to be sent onto the application insights resource over here. But what is the benefit? What is the use case of application insights is if you want to get more insights onto how your web applications are behaving, you can actually go ahead and connect your web applications onto this application insights resource in Azure and then get more information. Right, so this marks the end of this chapter.